for farmers, millers, and bakers. Fusarium head blight or head scab can have devastating effects on wheat and barley crops that lead to loss of yield and decreased quality of grain. Commercial fungicides may be used to control the fungus that causes head scab. However, targeted application and the risk of fungicide contaminated grain makes chemical control a challenge. Mike Bain, a plant pathologist with the College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences, has been doing years of research on biological control agents. In partnership with the USDA and other commercial interests, researchers are on the verge of a breakthrough product that will provide a green alternative in the fight against head scab. There are many ways uh, to manage plant diseases. You can use genetically resistant varieties, you can spray the crop with um, fungicides, you can use crop rotation practices. And then there's another area that's not um, readily available uh, in most systems and that's the use of beneficial microorganisms that control the pathogen. So 12 years ago, um, a colleague of mine at the USDA uh, and I uh, got the idea to actually explore biological control. The question was very simple. Could we find um, microorganisms that live on wheat flowers that have some kind of a anti-pathogen uh, capability? Bame and colleagues at USDA Agricultural Research Service screened hundreds of beneficial microorganisms they found living on the wheat plant. Out of that group came the yeast that has now been licensed by Ciprotec Incorporated, based in Vista, California. The company is currently developing a product that allows the biocontrol agent to be mixed with traditional fungicides and sprayed on the crops during a brief window in the spring when the crops are susceptible to infection. The development of this technology has the potential to increase yields during extremely severe fusarium head blight years by as much as 50% and probably as much as a billion dollar a year savings to farmers, millers and producers. The product is projected to be available by 2014. For Comtech New Media, I'm John Rice.